The initial thoughts that led to the story that evolved into my novel had this somber confessional ring about them. I don't know why, that's just the way they turned out. And that tone created an early morning scene with a narrator, uh, this officer commanding the remnants of a once much feared battalion, who knows he and his men will be dead by the end of that day. There is nothing they can do about it other than to choose how they face the fast approaching end, and that is with courage or cowering in fear. They are surrounded by an enemy that has no need or interest in prisoners. It is an enemy that is playing a waiting game. And that creates this tense, terrifying silence. And within that environment, the narrator has time to think about his deeds. His spirit surrenders. It accepts his fate. And in doing so, gives him the courage and freedom to face the truth. In Now I Am Here, that truth is his gentle descent, degeneration from carefree young man to one who leaves a trail of savagery and death, all in the name of an ultimately empty nationalist ideology. In that quiet, he also asks a question. What am I doing here? How did I get here? And his attempts to answer that question are done by retracing the journey that consumed his soul. So he talks to the reader. Without drama, there is no glory in his words, just facts, um, a recording, a chronological recording of choices and subsequent actions that eventually led to this terrible end. As a writer, I made a choice not to get, you know, when dealing with horrible pe deeds and horrible people. I've mentioned it before, it's so easy to get all crazy, and I thought that by having a very ordinary person, given that most of the time, the, those who commit horrific acts, when you look at them, they're actually just very ordinary people. They made terrible choices, but they don't have three eyes or horns, they're just humans like you and I. So I thought the best way to approach this was to um, allow him to speak as an ordinary person, as close to the kind of person you and I could be. And maybe through that way, I could get the reader to feel a bit, um, or to understand just how easy it is for us to end up down these miserable, miserable paths. 